and welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela and today we'll continue with the boys, this time the seventh episode of the first season. In the last episode, Frenchie and Mother's Milk reach out to Mesmer to help them understand what's the deal with Kimiko. Uh, Butcher wasn't so happy about it. He actually wanted to kill Mesmer, but he didn't. And um, yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Because Mesmer made a deal, deal with Homelander, he showed him, Mesmer showed him all their faces and now Homelander knows them. And uh, I'm pretty scared for them because it's Homelander. But also for their families, uh, for Huey's dad and uh, Mother's Milk wife. I'm pretty sure the Homelander and the rest won't stop at just the boys. I think things will go down because there's only two episodes left from this season. So, <sighs> yeah. Anyway, as usual, I got something to drink, the episode is ready to start, so without further ado, let's do this. Becca, new senior director, digital marketing. Yeah, how did you know? Ooh, I have my sources. She was working for them. Do you remember him? Yep, he does remember. Oh my god, he does remember. He remembers. He remembers. Oh, I don't like that smile. He's writing a book about himself deeper. <laughs> Your heart is getting bigger. Balls are getting smaller. Your bone density is for shit. That Ooh. guy wild beat shit is killing you. Don't even say it out loud. You don't know oh. shit about it. You understand? I don't want to know. It's making him faster, but also damages his body but lately some of you have been unreliable downright sloppy not you noir you've been great but the rest of you <laughs> oh my god Ooh. why she finds out like this is this a joke why is huey up there this is so messed up He's also one of the guys who killed Translucent. Wait, what? As well as blackmailing Mesmer, Ezekiel, Popclaw. That, that is insane. Starlight, sticks and stones won't break my bones, but... I will. <laughs> I know this guy. You did smash through his girlfriend, so I should hope so. Robin, something or other. Someone, I don't know. Got him in to see Ezekiel and got rid of the deep. He's blaming her. Keep those hands down by your sides, Missy. That is so scary. We're a different fucking breed. We shine with the golden light of Providence, but you. You've been helping these fucking mud people. Mud people. Go oh us. my god. Shut your fucking mouth, young lady. Back off. Leave her alone. And if I say no. Come on. I got this. It's you and me. Remember? All right. <sighs> you want her, you got her. She's your responsibility now. I just hope you're right about her, for both your sakes. Class dismissed. <laughs> oh my god, that was so scary. And I like how, like, Neef just went for his ego <laughs> to calm him down, because none of them had any chance against him, like, fighting him. I don't think I can do this anymore. Do what? This, I mean, Vod, whatever with Kimiko, it's it's awful, and you gotta stop it. But I can't. Yeah. Right. 
It's a little too late. Especially now that Homelander is all over you. So better to be loyal to a dead woman who doesn't know and doesn't care. How's that working out for you? Oh, you should have said that. <laughs> hey, Dad. This A train. Oh. So much time obsessing about me, am I right? Oh my God. Baby boy, Dad. Oh, I hope he doesn't. Oh, I hope nothing happens to him. He's quite good with zombies, but not with soups. She's never seen me before. What's mesmer? Whatever. So how did I get burned? <laughs> oh. Mesmer. Where is he? I know him. Right here, sport. <laughs> there is a fucking. <laughs> There's a train horn. When a train runs. Jumps in for a little jet fuel. What? What is that? I don't know what that shit is. Oh, you don't? So, you don't mind if I do this? Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with I you? have a bigger dose. How many bodies do I have to count this episode? You put her in danger, and then you threw her out like she was fucking garbage. How does this not all start with you, Huey? The what are you talking you about? I made a mistake. The shit that you did was on purpose. <laughs> You know, you're right. It would have been stupid to come alone. Run now, motherfucker! <laughs> you put us in danger without thinking twice, Marvin. Only just... Daddy. Marvin. Hey, he has a daughter. Oh, no. What have you been up to? I was drawing you a picture. <sighs> Marvin, what were you thinking going with Butcher when you have a daughter? Missing. I mean missing. As in missing, presumed, dead. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I looked at her file and the cops think it was suicide. Mm. She definitely knows something about her. You know, I was I was thinking that maybe um I could get Maria to stay late with the baby and changing the subject. What that sounds amazing. Well. But you go be a mother. Oh, you are losing your grip on him. Ooh. Look at those gills. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's pretty cool, actually. Thank you. I think that you should go. I'm not going anywhere. You little fucking freak. Lay back. I said, lay back. Ah, Ow, oh my god. Ow. The sound is kind of eh. But now he knows how it feels. Butcher, oh. Butcher is like Jason Voorhees. No matter how fast you run, he always walks faster. Oh. You got a tool to That's so cool. Really cool. Your wife? Is she missing? I can help you find her. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna trust you. I mean, he never trusted you, so. Please, I have a daughter! No! <laughs> oh my god! Mr. Butcher, I believe Homelander was involved. Homelander? No. My name is Mallory. Oh, she's Mallory. I'm the person who can get you paid. Oh, uh, well. Everyone always asks, what's our special weakness? It's people. Hmm. The people we care about. The old hero dilemma. Just hang tight. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Dad, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry about everything. No, 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 no. Don't say sorry. No. I, look, 
look at you. Standing up for yourself. Jinx. I hope he doesn't die. This is going to be Mallory's family all over again, only this time it's going to be my family. And if something happens to them, Butcher. I kill you. <laughs> I don't know what happened with you and Raina or how that situation got fucked up, but just please call them. She was pregnant with your child. Oh my God. I, I thought uh, I couldn't. So did I. <laughs> the baby clawed its way out of her. The blood loss. No one could have survived. She died on the table. Oh my God. The baby lived all of ten seconds. Drowned in its mother's blood. Did he? You should have been raised in a home with a family who loved you, not in a cold lab with doctors. And yet, I turned out great. Forgiveness. Do you raise me like a fucking lab rat? I'm the world's greatest superhero. Meh. You're my greatest failure. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, easy lads, easy. He called her. <sighs> MM. Deputy Director. Your family's gonna be okay, you have my word. Thank you. You and your corporation are fucked. Unequivocally, unilaterally fucked. How is that? Is that clearer for you? I mean, I get it. Jamming illegal drugs into babies' arms, I mean, that doesn't quite have the same ring. And that's not even the worst. The prick behind Flight 37 is dead. What am I missing? Just wait. You know, they're gonna show a super terrorist. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh my god. That's not all. Cool. Great. Amazing. Is he walking alive? Is he walking alive? No, he's walking dead. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, shit. Probably there are a lot of soups. There is. Uh, well, there you go. Now they need. They need the soups. Amy, I. Did you kill translucent? Yes. It's it's, it's not that simple. And you haven't been using me to get back at A train. How about V? Is this drug? It gives the soups their powers. Born. Don't run. I'm so sorry. Come on. Come on. It's okay. Oh, she seems to be okay. She's not bleeding, so... You're bulletproof! Oh, oh my god. No! You can't leave me like this. Oh, fucking hell. Da... Uh, oh. <laughs> Uh, there's one episode left and it's gonna be a shit show so that was definitely a thing well a lot of things 
happened this episode. I don't even know where to start from. Uh, I guess I start from the beginning. In the last episode, I was wondering how exactly uh, Homelander and uh, Becca met. And now I have the answer. She was working for Vought. Uh, she was taking care of the Twitter account. Um, and that's how Butcher and Homelander first met. Also, Annie find out about Huey from Homelander. Like, this episode, Homelander was messing with everyone. And I think the reason why Homelander only showed Huey was to make Annie angry enough to go after him. She will take care of Huey and he will take care of the rest. And that's why she, uh, he was blaming her to make mo to make her more angry and more angry. Yeah, I really feel sorry for Annie. I, she couldn't believe it till the last moment she was she wanted to talk with Huey in private and to hear it from from him if it's true or not and even if he confirmed every every doubt doubt she had um she was still i take you to the cops so you know you'll be safer than having um what take care of you i i feel that she was more hurt by him than all the things that happened to her the thing with her mother and madeline and all the rest because she she cares about him and you know i mean as frank castle once said the people that can hurt you, that can really hurt you, are the ones that are close enough to do so. And now she knows about the deal with Compound V. Poor Annie. Like, she can have a moment of peace. I think in the next episode she will have a long talk with her mother. There's this thing that Adrian said about Huey, like, uh, Adrian killed Robin by mistake, but Huey killed Papka on on purpose. And I really don't understand where he's coming from because he killed Papka. Like Butcher offered her a deal, kind of. Uh, he'll get rid of the body that you know she killed. In exchange of uh, some informations like she had a choice she could have not said anything and you know deal with a dead man uh, by herself but she chose not to because why face consequences so yeah, then Homelander asked a train to take care of business, so he should have blamed Homelander, but he doesn't because he's way too strong for him. So, got a little backstory on how Butcher met Mallory, and she was the one that told him about what happened between Becca and Homelander, she was the one that wanted to help him take his revenge. Um, but she could have also not necessarily lied, but, you know, mislead him a little bit, just so he can have this hatred on soups and do what she wants to. That would have been like the perfect opportunity, a grieving husband hungry for revenge uh, with nothing to lose. And as much as I love Frenchie, I can't stop but think that he fucked up once again because it was his fault. 
he had a job to do and he didn't and that's why Mallory and her family died. Lamplighter killed them and now he was the one that went to Mesmer to help Kimiko. I mean, I know that his head was in the right place, like he wanted to help, uh, but yeah, it ended really bad in both cases. Homelander went to Dr. I'm not even trying to pronounce his name, uh, the one that took care of of Homie when he was a baby and uh, was that did all the experiments on him and probably on many others. Um, and uh, he wanted to know more about Becca, what happened to her. And uh, he found out. He found out that uh, she got pregnant with his baby. Uh, but they both die. And now, like, the baby was a soup. Because it was like the laser eyes probably going through her skin. It would make sense that she died, but the baby, like his baby, I don't know what to think about that. I'm like, hmm, I have my doubts. What if, and I'm not saying that it wasn't, but what if it wasn't rape? Um, she cheated on Butcher once with Homelander. I mean, it's Homelander. She seemed fascinated by him. She thought he was a superhero, saving people, and he was also her boss. So, you know, it could happen. And that's why she was like, kind of ashamed and didn't want to talk with Butcher and then she not run away but apparently they took her in a safe place because the pregnancy was really showing and um, yeah she gave birth and maybe she died or maybe not it would be crazy if she and the baby are alive and well in some place where Homelander can find her or them. And what if Homelander finds them? If she's alive, of course Butcher will find out eventually. It would be cool, like, let's say that they are both alive, Rebecca and her child. And Homelander finds out, then Butcher finds out, and Butcher finds out that it wasn't rape. Uh, and he and Homelander team up to take down Vought. <laughs> That's so crazy, oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, that will never happen. But, um, yeah. Homelander also knows that Madeline um, lied to him because she did know about uh, Madeline, um, about Becca. And the thing with the super terrorists right now, <sighs> all Susan was trying to do was to take the soups out of the military and now they like really need them in the military so all that was for nothing yay oh my god i mean i'm pretty sure it's not even only one there are a lot like that and i can also wait to see who this mr edgar is they keep talking about him like uh is the like the big boss of what but 
I wonder who it is because it's not the doctor. He was just a doctor, the one that took care of Homelander. So, yeah. Maybe in the next episode. Cool, cool. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I have to say about this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you next time. Bye.